Problem number 48. We're asked to find the distance from the origin to the surface x, y, z is equal to 27. And so, you know, we're not told specifically this in the problem, but this becomes a Lagrange multipliers problem where we need to minimize the function f of x, y, z as x squared plus y squared plus z squared subject to the constraint that g of x, y, z is x times y times z is equal to 27. So note here, this f of x, y, z, this is the square of the distance. But minimizing the square of the distance will, you know, uh, occur at the same point as minimizing the, the distance, and this will just be computationally easier to work with. Okay, so the Grange multipliers gradient of f is equal to lambda times the gradient of g. Okay, what is this going to give us? Uh, gradient of f is going to be 2x, 2y, 2z is equal to lambda times the gradient here of xyz is going to be yz, xz, and xy. So our equations are going to be 2x is equal to lambda times yz, 2y is equal to lambda times xz, and 2z is equal to lambda times xy. Uh, of course, we also know that xyz has to equal 27. Okay, so um, let's try to eliminate the lambda variable. My preferred way to do this is going to be to multiply each equation by something to make the right sides of these equations all equal to each other. So we multiply the first equation by x, then we'll get lambda times x, y, z. And we multiply the second equation by y, we'll get lambda times x, y, z. Third equation we'll, we'll multiply by z. And so we'll end up with this first equation 2x squared is equal to lambda xyz. The second equation will be 2y squared is equal to lambda times xyz. The third equation 2z squared is lambda times xyz. And so these right sides here, these right sides here are all this, literally the same exact quantity. So this tells us that 2x squared is equal to 2y squared is equal to 2z squared. Okay, so 2x squared is equal to 2y squared is equal to 2z squared, or x squared is equal to y squared is equal to z squared. And don't forget, we also know that x times y times z has to equal 27. From this, we can see that solutions are going to be, let's write y and z in terms of x. y is e either equal to x or negative x, and z also is either equal to x or negative x. So, so if we, uh, let's see here, if we have different possibilities here, uh, let's just make a little chart here. So y is equal to x and z is equal to x. y is equal to negative x and z is equal to x. y is equal to x and z is equal to negative x. y is equal to negative x and z is equal to negative x. I think these are the, the four cases here that we have to care about. Uh, and now let's just work with the x, y, z is equal to 27 up here. So if y is x and z is x, then what we have is x times x times x, so x cubed is equal to 27. This of course has one solution in the real numbers when x is equal to 3. And so the point that we get here is 3, 3, 3. If y is negative x and z is x, let's see here, that would give us x times negative x times x is equal to 27. 
or negative x, uh, let's see here, negative x cubed is equal to 27. This has the solution, x needs to equal negative three. And so the point in question, x is negative three, y is the negative of negative three. So that's three, z is negative three. And I'm just going to jump to the end of, of this problem. Uh, if you do the similar things over here, uh, in this case, you'll find negative three, negative three, three is a point, and over here you get three, negative three, negative three is a point. So these are the four critical points you find using Lagrange multipliers. So they're the only points that we'd have to check. So to minimize the distance, well, guess what? All of these have the same, all four of these have the same distance from the origin. And the distance, which is the minimum distance, is going to be the square root of three squared plus three squared plus three squared. So that's the square root of 27. It's a little bit unsurprising that if we take a look at, at this, x, y, and z are all treated the same in the objective function, x times y times z is also all treated the same in the constraint. So it's unsurprising that we end up with so much symmetry down here in our final answer.